Hello everybody, my name is Elle. This is my first certification vlog that I am doing. So far I have finished chapter one, um, and there is 14 chapters in here. Um, each chapter you have to go through a set of uh, videos and labs and notes and answer questions depending on what it is so i use mice right now i'm taking the uh, mice pc pro um, test out so if i click right here um, and go next i can launch into test out so this is the um, this is what we use uh, to do all of our work. So if I go back here, so this is the table of contents. Contents, sorry. Um, it shows all of the things that you have completed and everything. Um, basically you go through and um, you get you get three different types of things uh, when you're doing it so you could have this which is um, notes that you have to read through um, it, it's really helpful for you when you give this to um, for your engineering notebook to put it into your engineering notebook um, which I will talk about a little bit later and then you also get a video so you play the video and stuff, and then you watch the entire video. I tend to watch the video on a little bit of a higher speed just so that I can um, get through it quick because they talk kind of slow. And then the third thing you can have is a lab. So the labs here are just little, like depending on what it is, um, usually it'll take you into, if I click start lab, it will take me into another screen and load up Give a sec. so over here it tells you the scenario of what's going on in the lab what's happening and what you need to do so right now it says you're an I you are an IT administrator for a small corporate network you're working on a computer in your office in this lab tasks that, that to complete are the following add a monitor to the workspace Connect the monitor to the computer using an HDMI cable. Connect the power cord to the monitor and plug it in. Turn the monitor on and the computer. So, so far, I already have a power strip, a um, monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, and a wall socket. So, this is the monitor. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag the monitor over, pop that down. Then I'm going to flip to the back of there so I can see all of these power. I grab that. I need to connect the monitor to the computer using this HDMI cable. So I'm going to go to the back of there to click on this. And then I drag over here. As you can see, so the areas where you can plug things in will light up blue. Obviously, I'm not going to plug it into one of the other plugs that isn't, like, I, I'm not going to plug it into an aux or something like that. So I put it into there, and, you it, like, it'll say unconnected if you put it in the wrong place. So it does. Oh, oh. So there, you put it in, and it connects, and you'll see it's lit up as it's there. And then I drag this one over, and I plug it in there. And then now it's connected to both. So down here, it'll say it will say um, where it's connected. So this one says motherboard socket, and this one says monitor. So if they're not connected, it will say unconnected. Like over here, if I... I have to plug in the monitor to the wall so that it has power. So it says unconnected, which means that if you don't connect it, 
there's no use to it. So right now, it says partial connection over here. That means, so like say I go back over here and I start clicking on this, and I need to get back to this wire, I can click on the partial connect connection, see which one isn't connected down here, and plug it in. And now that they are both plugged in, both of the cords, I can turn on the monitor. And I can come over here and I can click the power button. And there we go. I'm now in the system. And it basically works like a virtual machine. It's really nice. So that is that. Um, and then when you're done, you click score lab. Um, it tells you how long it took you to complete it. it. tells you your score. shows you the things that you completed. If you show details, it's... Like, if you have to do multiple things in one task, then it'll come down here. It'll be in the show details. So, obviously, I passed with 100%. Um, some of them you have to have 100% score. Some of them you only have to have um, uh, 80%. It really just depends a lot of the time. Um, and then this is an explanation on what you did. So now that I did that, I can click last score report and it'll tell me all of this information. So while I've been doing this, I have been taking an extensive amount of notes on my uh, OneNote uh, um, journal or notebook. It's my uh, electronic notebook. And so... I have right now these are sorry about that these are all of the notes that I have so far so I have them for pretty much so this is like the course intro all of this is directly from the test out PC pro um, software stuff it's uh, I named it all of the different um, I named all of these what uh, little part it is and then if I click through I can see like this is what was for my first like a uh, lab that I just showed you this is what the lab wanted you to do um, and then this one was another lab where you had to connect more things um, and then um, like this. This has some definitions. It tells you what the objective is for some stuff. Um, it kind of gives you an overview. So when there's not three um, numbers, it's an overview of what the actual uh, course is. So like 1.1 course intro is an overview of what you're going to be doing in 1.1. 1.2 hardware basics is an overview of what you're going to be doing in 1.2. And they have them at the beginning of each um, little chapter, uh, little se each little segment of each chapter. So if I go through, the main reason why I'm doing this and why I'm copying and pasting so, so much of this information is because when you take practice questions, the practice questions, it's like eight questions, ten questions, really just depends, but it'll give you a question that could be on the exam at the end and it tell it gives you like a, a question gives you f uh, four different answers a b c or d and then you have to answer it and so i get all of my answers from my notes that i've taken and while you're taking these practice questions you can't go back and access the original mice and see what's going on. You can't see any of that information while you're taking a quiz. That's why it's so important to take good notes and have a good engineering notebook. That way when you're taking tests and quizzes, you don't just have to rely on your brain. You can rely on the things that you've built. So, um, other than that, these are just all the things that I did. Um, I have all these but so if you look on some of my practice questions they have links 
So these are links to cahoots that I found after I completed the practice questions. I found cahoots for um, what all the questions are and what the answers are and what the explanations for the answers are. So I, I thought that was really nice that I could find those. That way I just link them onto the practice questions and I don't have to take a bunch of time trying to copy and paste everything over. But yeah, that's kind of just what I've been doing so far in um, PC Pro. I'm a little bit of the way into um, uh, chapter two, PC technician responsibilities, but I haven't gotten that far, as you can see, compared to my other one. So, I'm excited to continue this course. It's very interesting, and I find it very fun when I'm doing it. So, I'm glad you guys spent your time watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was a good explanation on what I've been doing and what I'm going to be doing in my, uh, and this is all for my independent certification class. I hope you have a very nice rest of your day. See ya.